Hello everyone from all around the world. It is so wonderful to have you join us today as we dive straight into the Rhapsody of Realities by Pastor Chris Oyakilome for the 2nd of November, which is titled Walk in Wisdom. Our opening verse is from 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verse 30, and it says, But of him are ye in Christ Jesus who of God is made unto us wisdom and righteousness and sanctification and redemption. Some Christians get very excited when they read our opening verse and then get confused when they read James chapter 1 verse 5 which says, If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God that giveth to all men liberally and unbraideth not, and it shall be given him. Since Christ has been made unto us wisdom, why then should one still ask for wisdom? They wonder. Those two references aren't contradictory at all. Rather, it's about levels of maturity in Christ. As you study the scriptures, you'll find that there are different instructions for different groups of Christians on the basis of their maturity. Some are addressed to the babes in Christ, others to the maturing in Christ, and then there are instructions for the fathers or the spiritually mature in Christ. The one who is still a babe in Christ may quote and confess that Christ is his wisdom, yet he hasn't really caught it. His words and actions may still be incongruous with the word and the wisdom of God. He is not yet manifesting wisdom, which is a fruit of righteousness. He still acts and thinks like the rest of the world, like those without wisdom. So, James admonishes those in that class to ask for wisdom. Remember, it is children that ask for things. Jesus said, Ask and it shall be given you. He related it with children asking their father for bread. And you can see this reference in Luke chapter 11 verses 9 to 12. The spiritually mature does not ask for anything because he lacks nothing in Christ. Glory to God. This is the level God wants you to grow into, where you know that all things are yours. You're not asking for wisdom, but walking in wisdom. Hallelujah. Amen. Let that sink into your spirit for a moment. All things are yours and we lack nothing in Christ hallelujah now wherever you are kindly proclaim this confession after me dear father I thank you for your wisdom that is at work in my spirit which is also increased even now through the word that I have received today I live out the word and therefore walk in your glory fulfilling your perfect will and bringing many to righteousness in Jesus' name Amen. Glory to God. Here we have some scriptures for you to do your further studies on. In the book of Acts chapter 20 verse 32 and 1 Corinthians chapter 1 verses 24 to 25. Praise the Lord. It pays to know the word of God. With his wisdom, you will always make choices that are led by the Spirit. You are able to do things right the first time. People may be working hard, but you, you would be working the wisdom of God. Hallelujah. I'm sure you've been blessed by this message and what you receive today. You can bless others in your world by sharing this video or sending them a copy of the Rhapsody of Realities when you download the PDF from our description. 
subscribe to our content and you'll always be word conscious every day. Tell your friends about this and we'll see you all tomorrow. Have a glorious day ahead. We trust you have been blessed by this devotional. We invite you to make Jesus Christ the Lord of your life by praying thus. O Lord God, I believe with all my heart in Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. I believe He died for me and God raised Him from the dead. I believe He is alive today. I confess with my mouth that Jesus Christ is the Lord of my life from this day. Through Him and in His name, I have eternal life. I am born again. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I am now a child of God. Hallelujah! Congratulations! You are now a child of God. To receive more information on how you can grow as a Christian, please get in touch with us by emailing us at tni.msia at gmail.com That's tni.msia at gmail.com We look forward to hearing your testimony. You are blessed.